I'm Karen E. Osborne, and I want to talk to you today about something that is that is hugely important for not-for-profits. Globally, a new report came out that just caught my eye. It's called the Elderman Trust Barometer for 2022. And they uh, surveyed 28 countries, 36,000 people from 28 countries participated. And they found some things out that you won't find surprising. They found out that government and media are the least trusted, and that fact, they're distrusted, and that NGOs and businesses, interestingly enough, are more trusted. So you'd think, wow, Karen, that's really good news for us. I mean, yes, we're living in this crazy world where there's distrust, but we're okay. Well, are we? Are you? Um, let's give you a couple of statistics here. So when asked about uh, just do you trust the these are diff different types of organizations, we ended up in a neutral zone between trust and distrust. We ended up neutral, that people were neutral. But we don't wanna be in the neutral zone. We wanna be in the trusted zone. Then when they asked if we provide a unifying, are we helping unify people and bring people together? Only 50% thought we were a unifying force. When they asked if we were taking a leadership role in solving societal problems, and you're in the business of solving a societal problem. That's why you're not for profit exists. Are you trying to end hunger? Are you trying to cure cancer? Are you trying, you know, what it's a societal impact that you are trying to have. Help people with um, disabilities, differently abled people have jobs and be part of the, of the community and, and be contributing members. Um, all those things, everything that you do and you're not for profit is helping address a societal issue. Uh, even the, And of course the arts, sometimes we think the arts are not in the societal problem solving issue, but that's not true. The arts bring people together. The arts make us um, tap into some of our better instincts. The arts help us understand other cultures. So all of us have a societal problem that we are trying to solve. And when they asked, are we doing a good job there, only 55% thought we were. Now that was better than the media and better than the government, which that's not good, but it's 55%. That means 45% think we're not. And then getting results. Are we getting results? 57% thought we were. The rest said not. But this is a big global study, right? What does this have to do with you? Well, find out. You need to do a stewardship and trust survey. You need to ask your donors. You need to know what percentage of your donor base thinks that you are doing a good job solving problems, that thinks that you are getting the kinds of results that you promise and the kinds of results that you're working on. You need to know how you're doing. And there are things that you then can do to improve that level of trust because you want to be the one that's stellar, the one that's not in the neutral zone, but that's in the highly trusted uh, column. You want to be the one where 98% of your donors say they trust you 100%. You need to be on that side of the ledger. So some of the things you can do, and you know this, you know this, you know, you need mission measurement. You need to demonstrate that you are accomplishing things, that you are solving problems. You need to measure your mission. You need to report in a consistent way with facts and data, as well as warm and touching stories, as well as those things that are gonna just move me and make me feel wonderful. You also need those facts. This is what we've accomplished. This is what we're doing. This is how we spent your money. This is how we're impacting the community. This is how we are solving the societal problem that we told you we were working on. And then we need long-term thinking instead of short-term thinking. 
what is your strategic plan? What is your big vision? What is your uh, target that you can get something done in the next three years, in the next five years? If you're not doing basic stewardship, well, then that's where you should start. But if you are doing basic stewardship, you're sharing impact reports, you're giving people impact experiences, then start thinking about these other things. Start thinking about mission measurement. Start thinking about and looking at your communications and are you sharing fact-based information as well as the warm and powerful stories. And take that survey, do that survey. And if you need help, just let us know. This is your year. Get those trust numbers up. <laughs>